guys uh welcome back welcome back to the channel welcome please join the family by subscribing uh today we're going to be doing the korean barbecue boneless wings from tgi fridays in your local store in the frozen section so first we're going to give it a smell test and then we're going to see if we can eat it as is or we have to transform it so let's give it a smell <coughs> oh wow so it has a really pungent scent uh, we're going to try them as is so we can give them an honest review. And if not, then we're going to top them with some of our signature jerk barbecue sauce. So guys, uh, keep on watching because you're in for a ride. All right, thank you. See you all in the next clip. All right, guys. All right, guys. So you see we uh, have our cut sweet potato fries that we already cut and soak in salty water. And then we drain them on some paper towels. So they're frying up nicely. After we finish with that, then we're going to top them with some Cajun seasoning that I sourced from Kroger. And then we're going to serve that with some dipping sauce on the side, which is going to be a honey mustard uh, spicy mayo. So this is going to be very delicious. And then we're going to fry up these um, Korean barbecue wings, boneless wings, um, from TGI Friday in the frozen section. And these wings, I've tried them um, as the direction on package but I didn't like them because they said you could either um, eat them up in the microwave or heat them up in the oven. I eat them up in the oven and I didn't enjoy the flavor. They taste like processed, you know, obviously it's processed, but it tastes like pureed chicken um, formed into a patty. So we're gonna try it fried along with these sweet potato fries and then we'll taste them, okay? All right, see you in the next clip. So guys, as you can see, our homemade sweet potato fries are done. And now we're going to show you, we have our Korean barbecue wings that are frying up nicely. So as soon as we're done with all of these, we're going to get our dipping sauce and our jerk sauce just in case we need it. And then we're going to get into the eating segment, so stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back. Now that the cooking is over, we're going to be digging in some mukbang style. You can take a look. There's our homemade sweet potato fries with our Cajun um, seasoning. Then we have our... Spicy mayo, honey mustard uh, sauce right there. And then we have the Korean barbecue wings. All right, so we're gonna give you an honest reaction on this. So we're gonna taste everything first in case we need our homemade jerk barbecue sauce. We're definitely gonna be using this if we need it, all right? All right, so let's take our first bite. So now we're gonna start with the homemade stuff first. So this is our homemade sweet potato fries. First bite. Oh my goodness. That sweet potato fries, it's not crispy. It's nice and smooth and silky. It's fried, but it's not too crispy. The Cajun season definitely developed the flavor of it. Um, so remember we soaked them in salty water, so we don't need much season on them because um, they're already salted. So we're gonna dip that in our spicy honey mustard mayo. And we're gonna do, mm. So that spicy honey mustard mayo really develop the flavor of it you have a nice kick nice sweetness and it's delicious we're gonna start off with these wings now mm. i mean i've tried these wings before baked in the oven as directed on the packer they didn't taste as good as these um these are definitely better when you do them in the um deep fryer um they're nice and soft, a nice little crunch on the outside from the frying. And overall they're delicious, but you can taste that this is like pressed um, pureed chicken together. It doesn't taste like white meat chicken that's actually cut into pieces and breaded. Oh my goodness. Mm. If you love food like me, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But the flavor of this definitely needs a little bit of kicking up. I want all my Korean friends and subscribers in the comments to let me know what exactly should this taste like. Oh my goodness. Mm. So, we have our jerk sauce. This is homemade. I made this. And I'm going to touch some of it on here. So one thing with jerk you find is there's a little bit of kick to it. So this is very delicious. If you like heat, um, definitely go pick up some jerk sauce from your local store close by to you. All right, we're gonna try it again. 
Mm. Because this jerk sauce right here really elevates the flavor of this. The Korean barbecue, which has a nice sweetness and everything like that, top with this jerk sauce is a really balance. You get a nice little bit of heat and a little bit of sweetness. And then the spicy mayo is also heavenly. Oh, wow. So, guys, if you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe below so that I can continue making videos like this. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mm. This is so heavenly. I just can't stop eating. See, my mouth is full and I'm still eating. I'm still talking. Mm. And you know, this is a no no. <laughs> If it wasn't for this channel, I wouldn't be doing this because growing up in Jamaica as a kid, your parent, your grandparent always tell you never eat with food in your mouth. But guess what? It's 2019. We can do whatever we want, right? <laughs> oh my. I'm telling you, this is a treat. Mmm. Let's get some more of that salt. Let's put some on the soup potato as well. Make it rain, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. Guys, if you haven't tried this yet, you need to try this at home. Make sure you pick up some jerk sauce in your local store or order it on Amazon or wherever you can get it. And if you want to see the recipe for this um, spicy mayo honey mustard, please let me know below. But these sweet potato fries, they're really healthy. They're easy to make. You're sure that there's no preservatives or anything in there. You just get some fresh sweet potatoes from your local store. You peel them, you wash them, you cut them up in strips. You soak them in some salty water for maybe like 10 to 15 minutes. And then you're on your way. And then you drain them off and you fry them on high heat oil. I use clear frying oil because I had a restaurant for two years. And I had some leftovers. So I brought it home. And I'm enjoying it. I think the clear frying oil is very good for these too because it, it, it has a higher heating temperature. But everything is so delicious, guys. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one. And please like, comment, and subscribe and share this video with your friends and family. I would greatly appreciate it. If you want to see more, please comment below what's your favorite thing from this video. And I love you all, and I'll see you next time.